as is fairly typical when you're recording something and uh, you get into the slightly interesting part, uh, the battery fails. So, um, I looked at the input of this uh, comparator uh, and there was no shift on the level at all. Uh, whatever I did on the inputs, inverting and non-inverting, the outputs stayed exactly the same. So I found another LM324 uh, uh, and what I'm just going to do is I've just replaced it with a this is where the chip was, re removed the uh, chip, cut the legs off, um, unsoldered it, fitted an IC socket and we're going to replace it with this LM324 uh, um, pop it back into the unit temporarily and see if we uh, get any luck. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> so, recall 8 again and just we should have a minus 10 dB reference. If this has fixed it, this should be adjustable now. Ah ha ha! Excellent! Okay, so, it looked like it was that chip. Um, let's give it an adjustment. Again, to unfold my screwdriver buried. Now that adjustment should allow me to adjust a minus 10 dB reference. Was it minus 10 or was it minus 20? Minus 10 dB. Ah, excellent. And there we go. So I have my adjustment back. Let's fix that. So that's that's excellent. So we can run a calibration routine on it now. Uh, of course, the colours off the machine at the moment. So let's find the calibration um, routine and we'll see what that does. Now right, here's the procedure of running the calibration routine. I've done the recall 8 and we've got the minus 10 b dB back, which is good. Uh, and then we recall 9. So... Uh, it's recall 9. Sorry, my hands are a bit shaky today. I'm feeling a bit under the weather, so... Um, recall 9. Now what I do with this adjustment is I just the uh, frequency zero for uh, maximum gain. Hopefully this will still work. No, that's the wrong one, that's the line. Frequency zero. Doesn't seem to be working. This is gonna be our next problem. interesting <laughs> right so that's not working so is that another problem or is it just because the unit's not warmed up yet so probably what I'll have to do is I'll come back and see if it works properly when it's warmed up well Everything seems to be working okay. The only thing that's a bit odd is when I press recall 8 and just the zeros, uh, frequency zero, I can't get uh, a line to come up on the uh, display. Now, if I enter the parameters manually, rather than use the recall from the from the ROM, it's no problem at all. I've adjusted it up and it seems fine. So it suggests that maybe the, the ROM might be corrupted or, uh, or I don't know. But it certainly, certainly seems to work if I enter the parameters in manually. So we're going to do a, uh, a calibration routine on the item now. Now this will pick up anything that's wrong with the uh, spectrum analyzer that's not working correctly. I hope this will go straight through. So what I'm doing is I shifted W, which is frequency span, and that will start off the uh, calibration routine. Let me just close the door. Get the noise down. Now what you do with this is you run the calibration routine uh, and once you've run this calibration routine you've got the option of storing it into a like memory so it, it uses these calibration routines as a uh, basically as a calibration really uh, it's also nice to see that because I've adjusted the uh, 
the marker, the marker was is looking for the 20, 20 megahertz reference, and you can see the 20 megahertz reference in the top corner here is spot on. So that's good. I don't know how the chip blew up in the first place. It, uh, the only thing I can possibly think of is I've accidentally applied power to it. Um, but no, even that, because that calibration output, it's not, it wouldn't be that, because that calibrated output is straight from the oven controlled crystal oscillator. The pot and the associated adjustments I've, and the chip I've just replaced is all to do with the uh, gain of the input. So, uh, unless I've zapped it with something, I don't know, I don't remember doing it. It could be, I suppose, just a component failure. But, um, it seems to be working. There we go, and it says it's corrected, so it means it's, well, I think that means it's, it's saved it all. And to use that correction, you press shifted X. So shift and X. And I think that means it's done it. Didn't say it hadn't done it. it didn't say it did do it either. You shifted capital X, so that's definitely capital X. Do it again. Shift. X. Okay, so it looks like that problem is resolved. Um, there's no sign of this uh, strange video problem that I had before. That's very peculiar. Um, I didn't show this on video because I, lo I lost the video, but what was happening was there was a sort of like a... First of all you lose the graticule and then you uh, all the characters become corrupted, except for the HP uh, symbol. And I've had a lot of help uh, on uh, the EV blog uh, with this problem and I appreciate I mean it's worth if you're looking at problems like this go on the EEV blog they're great help um, lots of people seem to be quite happy to dig out their old manuals and go through it and uh, help you out I mean what else could you ask for it's almost like a free service um, and uh, I'd like to also point out a new uh, member who's just uh, come online um, I think it's Defprom um, I'm going to link his videos uh, up to his uh, page down below. He's new into uh, the YouTube and he could do with some more uh, more visitors I think to his channel. So what I'll do is I'll do that and um, speak to you later.